Detroit Assurance is a new safety system from Daimler Trucks North America, but there's more to it than collision mitigation. It's tied in with something Daimler calls intelligent powertrain management, which can provide tangible performance and efficiency benefits too. Hi, I'm Jim Park in Miami, Florida, with part two of today's trucking ultimate test drive of Detroit Assurance. All that and fuel economy too. On top of the safety benefits we demonstrated in part one of this series, Detroit Assurance pulls information from several sources on board the truck as well as off. Combined, that data helps the truck operate in the most fuel efficient manner possible. Here's Daimler Trucks Scott Keebler explaining how the deep level of integration between Detroit Assurance, the Detroit engine and the DT12 transmission results in smoother and more fuel efficient speed and braking transitions. It's a safety system that combines the fuel economy benefit of IPM and, and other offerings to maximize efficiency, however, safety is first. IPM will use preloaded terrain maps to know what's coming and to optimize what we're doing from a fueling, from an engine braking, from a shifting standpoint to optimize for fuel efficiency. So obviously the less braking, the less shifting we do, the more fuel efficient we can move that freight down the road. In the next clip, I'm following the chase car off an exit ramp and heading for a toll booth. You'll notice the speed of the car changes several times. So does the speed of the truck. This could just as easily be out on a highway in dense traffic where speeds change constantly. Now I'm gonna follow this car off an exit ramp here at Griffin Road. And the car is gonna slow right down and I'm not gonna to touch the brakes. We're basically follow the car off the off, the off ramp and uh, just maintain that distance based on the car's speed. Not, uh, not anything that I'm doing to it, so. We pass this shadow here, I'll count off three and a half seconds and you'll sort of visually see. Oh, he's accelerating a little bit now. So are we. Okay, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand. So three and a half seconds, thereabouts. But that's the distance that the, uh, the system is, is set to maintain. Doesn't really matter in feet and inches so much, it's, uh, it's timing. In this case, although the system says about 219 feet. It's going to speed up a little bit now to make up some of that distance. Now the car is braking, so we're going to brake right along with it. We're braking right down to uh, 25 miles an hour. Grab a couple of gears. Watch that car accelerate now. There he goes. He's moving away from us fairly aggressively, and we're accelerating fairly aggressively right behind him. Now we're slowing right down and we're getting some aggressive braking happening. I got my foot right over the brake pedal, but it's not on it. <laughs> Just in case I have to get on the thing, but the system basically slowed us right down here. Uh, we're at about 12 miles an hour coming through the toll plaza. Distance is opening up in front of us and the truck's accelerating. So all the way off that exit ramp, I didn't touch the uh, brake or the accelerator at all, yet our, uh, our speed fluctuated along with the cars up in front of us. The system works when following a car directly. It also works on a curve. Now the system's gonna break us down as we follow this car off the exit ramp. Here's where it might get tricky. Okay, the car is now out of the radar's range. So it's kind of uh, motoring back up to speed. As soon as the radar picks up the car, we're gonna to start to slow down again. So it's got the car in its beam. Even on a turn, not straight on in line, but it knows that car is out there and it's tracking it. So it's managing our speed relative to the speed of the car in front of us. In the next clip, we'll demonstrate how the system manages acceleration very efficiently. So as we come through this toll booth this time, what I'm gonna do is just hit the resume button on the cruise control, and it should take us right back up to 60 miles an hour by cruise setting. So I'm at 25 now, just hit the resume button, foot's off the gas, and here we go. The truck's accelerating on its own, I should point out too that it's uh, accelerating nice and gently. Uh, the whole idea behind this, uh, this powertrain uh, is fuel economy, obviously. So here we are now coming up uh, just back onto 60 miles an hour. And I came out through that toll booth. In fact, from the time I left the red light back there, I didn't, uh, didn't touch the gas at all. So now we're back up to speed and uh, the system managed that all in the most fuel efficient way possible. Pretty slick.
We've seen how this system can pretty well manage speed all by itself, so watch now as we once again get cut off by the car and how gently the adaptive cruise control system gets us back up to speed. We're slowing down again now, that silly car in front of us. Now down to 45, going through 40. All right, go. Now we're gonna accelerate back up to speed again. But here's the interesting part. That car just took off, look at that, he's going. Obviously you realize the mistake he made. But our truck now is getting us back up to speed, but not really aggressively. We're uh, accelerating back up to 60 at what I would call a pretty moderate pace. So you know, fuel economy is still part of the equation here. Even though you've got the safety feature, it's still not going to be uh, you know, bombs away, let's get back up to 60. Uh, it's going to do it in a nice uh, fuel efficient way. That's the beauty of the intelligent powertrain management. You can program all this functionality into the system. You know, accelerating, decelerating, stopping distance warnings, uh, you know, braking, acceleration, and all the while it's still focusing on fuel economy. It's really amazing how well the uh, Detroit powertrain and the uh, Detroit Assurance System integrate. Uh, obviously, it came out of the same lab and same factory, so uh, it can all be programmed to work, you know, very much in harmony. That's Detroit Assurance in a nutshell. It's a safety system that can optimize fuel economy as well. Talk about a two-for-one deal. You just saw how the integrated system works to save fuel during day-to-day -day operations. If you haven't already, check out part one of this series where we demonstrate what the system can do to minimize the risk of a rear-end collision. From Miami, Florida, I'm Jim Park with today's Trucking's Ultimate Test Drive. Drive safe and keep your revs down.